Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcro here, aka Scoop, back with the Mount Moon Battle Association. We are in the eighth gym. We are taking on the eighth gym today in this video. And this is our eighth and final gym, assuming we win, and then we can move on to the Elite Four. This gym, as you can see, features a monotype fighting uh, team, and Vishwa is the gym, the gym leader. And we'll be facing him in 6v6 Smoogon OU and Blow uh, tier and rules, OU rules. And yeah, so we brought a kind of a defensive landers with like slow U turning uh, pivot kind of thing with a defensive Sylveon, uh, banded Scizor, defensive Rotom pivot, Mega Alakazam, and Tank Chomp. You can see we got a lot of defense and very little offense, but versus powerful offense like fighting types, I figured why not go defensive and bring Mega Alakazam, obviously. He's brought Terrakion, Mian Shao, Breloom, Lucario, Mega Law Pony, and Infernape, and I brought what I mentioned I brought. I lead Landers to get the Intimidate off and then you turn on anything not Low Pony and you turn into my Rotom if he led low pony. So yeah, we can just hop into the battle here. Like I said, I lead Landers to uh, get off slow U-turns. Vishwa is sending out his Infernape. And yeah, so predicting a Sash lead here with maybe Rocks or Taunt or Will-O-Wisp, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. I don't mind a being more of a defensive role in this match, I don't mind the the burn, assuming he goes for the will o -Wisp. He just sets up his rocks though, and we can U-turn out. And now we can bring in Alakazam, which outspeeds and Okos. And actually Okos a lot of things on his team. And then he brings out me and Shell after the Infernape dies. I didn't Mega Evolve because I didn't want to take residual rocks every time I came in until I could get rid of those. But I actually don't think I brought Hazard Control. So anyways, I switch out into Chomp here expecting the U-turn or knockoff. And he does go for the knockoff and knocks off my Rocky Helmet. No, my Choice Band, excuse me. I was Choice Band because I wanted to get major damage off. So it's no big deal. He goes for the Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, me and Shell with the Hidden Power Ice. Drops me dead. Drops me fainted, not dead. And uh, reveals he's Life Orb. So here I just bring in that Mega Alakazam again, who, like I said, is not Mega Evolved yet. And I can just fire off another Psychic. He brings in Lucario, so this is a neutral hit. a neutral hit and does nearly 90 percent and here i'm going to switch out uh, expecting uh extreme speed because i need my alakazam to be able to take all sorts of priority from fighting type attacks and maybe live a scarf track key on hit and he goes for the vacuum wave actually we switch out to landers and it's not very effective so it doesn't do much damage and he reveals to be life orb also so here we could uh we go for the Earthquake, expecting him to maybe want to switch out or go for Vacuum Wave again for some chip damage. And we go for the Earthquake. He barely lives his life or recoil, but then faints to the Earthquake. And things are going as according to plan so far. Now he brings out Wonder Woman, his Mega Law Pony, and it forces me out with Ice Punch. So I'm going to switch out to my defensive pivot Rotom Wash here, and I can I can go for a U-turn. I mean Volt Switch or Will O' Wisp or even Hydro Pump if I wanted to. He goes straight away for the return, which is actually a pretty good play on his part. Expecting me to switch out maybe. And 
yeah, it doesn't do much damage. So I'm going to switch back. Uh, I mean, it does solid damage. So I'm going to switch back out to Lander Therian, expecting anything that's not Ice Punch, High Jump Kick, or Return. And it almost gets the knockout after the Intimidate even. So I know the next one will knock out for sure. And now it being an intimidated Megalopony, I can bring in my Sylveon and fire off a free Hyper Voice because it's super effective against everything since the Lucario's down. It's no longer neutral. It is super effective against everything. And he goes for the return, which still does a pretty significant amount of damage considering I'm physically defensive and he was intimidated. Showing you the power of Megalopony. But power, Pixelate, Hyper Voice, Sylveon, Power. Knocks out the Megalop Honey, and now he brings in the Breloom. And here, I'm very fearful of the Spore and then the setup. So I'm just going to sacrifice Rotom. As if he does Spore, he should go for a Grass type move right after. And he does Spore. So he puts my Rotom to sleep, and pretty much Sleep Fighter at this point. Anyway. It doesn't serve much of a role at the amount of HP it's at in the Pokemon my opponent has left. And who reveals to be the Toxic Orb set, not the Technician set? So here I switch out to uh, Scizor, predicting maybe Drain Punch or Bullet punch, uh, bullet Seed. And he goes for the Facade. One for that Toxic Boosted Facade. Or Poison Boosted Facade. And here I can get off a Banded U-Turn and I outspeed, which is pretty cool. And I can switch it back out into Rotom as he goes for Bullet Seed or Drain Punch again. And since he's no, since he's definitely not the uh, Sash Technician set, we can go into Alakazam after fodder and off uh, Rotom Wash here. And no matter what HP he has, Mega Alakazam can come in and finish him. And a, he, he doesn't have Mock Punch, it seems. He has revealed Drain Punch, Spore, and Facade, and now reveals Bullet Seed. So he doesn't have Mock Punch, so we're free to bring in Alakazam and take zero damage. And I actually, uh, I actually predict, I try to make a prediction here, and I predict him to go for like a last ditch Spore, predicting me to maybe set up a Calm Mind or something. Like I'm gonna set up a Calm Mind and he's, I'm pre like, He's predicting me to predict him to switch out, so I would set up a calm mind, and he actually goes for Spore. And if he would have Spored on this turn as I go for the Substitute, that would have been phenomenal. Because then I would have take, I wouldn't even have to worry about Terrakion. But he just goes straight away for the Facade, trying to get off as much damage as possible, as much damage as possible, excuse me. He gets a little Poison Hill uh, health regenerated back and then we go up for the psychic here and we outspeed 125 million percent and we get the psychic which does 125 million percent damage to a Braylon and there he brings in the Terrakion fearing the scarf Terrakion with stone edge and being a high critical hit, critical hit ratio stone edge I switched out to my Sylveon here like I said physically defensive Sylveon and on this turn Terrakion reveals to be uh, to have Earthquake, which does a significant amount of damage because it is Life Orb. It is Life Orb. And revealing Life Orb, I know Mega Alakazam can actually come in and clean this match up, knocking out the Terrakion after he knocks out my Sylveon with a second Earthquake. Sylveon drops, but not without putting in work. Now we can bring in Mega Alakazam. We are Mega Evolved. We outspeed everything in the meta game besides Mega Aerodactyl, who we speed tie with. Now we can just go for a sidekick because we outspeed and this will Oko. And he already re revealed his Mian Xiao to be Life Orb also. Uh, I believe he had at least four or three Life Orb users in Mian Xiao, Lucario, and Terrakion. And me, me and Chad will drop to this. And we will earn our fighting type badge. We now have eight badges after defeating Vishwa. We have eight badges. 
we're now set to start taking on the Elite Four. And when that begins, we will start uploading more videos. So thank you for watching. And if you stuck around this long throughout the entire challenge, it's very awesome. Thank you for your support. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Feedback's always good. Thank you guys.